know. Somehow, some way, I'm 11 weeks out. 83 days, to be a little more specific and particular. A lot of decisions have been up in the air. There's been a lot of pivots and forks in the road that have presented themselves to me. And I've had to make a lot of decisions. And one of those decisions recently was that I'm discontinuing the use of PEDs. And this is something that like, I haven't talked about PEDs for a, a good little minute. Um, just because I don't want to entrap myself or uh, box myself into that niche. But as a bodybuilder, understand that with this industry, PEDs are involved. It is, it goes together like chocolate and milk, like honey and pineapple, um, like socks and shoes. If you're a bodybuilder, odds are you're using PEDs. And I've gotten to the point where it doesn't align with me anymore. I cannot continue to justify the use of them. Um, and this is honestly a, a realization that I've come to that's been in my head for a while. It's been the, the understanding, the, the concept of ceasing my use has been an idea floating around in my head since probably midway through prep. You know, it's something that started to bother my conscience. And, you know, as admittedly attached I've been to this goal of achieving a pro status and becoming a progressively better and better bodybuilder at whatever cost, I have had to make the decision to cut that aspect out of bodybuilding and fitness for myself personally. And with that, I'm sure you can imagine that there's been a pivot in goals. You know, I, I can no longer confidently talk about, hey, I'm, I'm pursuing this pro level physique, I'm pursuing, pursuing this pro card, um, because I understand that, you know, this greatly limits the amount of progress that I'm able to make in a reasonable amount of time that I'm willing to work towards that goal. Uh, you know, somebody who's on PDs is gonna be progressing three to four times faster than the typical natural athlete. And of course, I can't claim that my physique is natural by any means, but you know, what I will be doing is working on tapering down to a more healthful dose. I would like to be optimized. Uh, I would like to be able to maintain as much muscle tissue as possible. I would like to maintain the physique that I've built up into this point as much as possible. And at some point along the line, begin to actually progress and grow but it will be within what is optimal and what is within the parameters of health. Now, where does that put me with bodybuilding? So, here's the thing. It's reasonable to conclude that my physique is going to begin to decline, uh, atrophy. I will not be able to hold on to you know, the aesthetic cosmetic aesthetic look that you know, some of these compounds that I've been running provide. So with that man, I've pivoted my goals. I've shifted my mentality from, okay, let me you know achieve this pro card, achieve this pro level physique at this level to let me walk away with an overall. I got a class win earlier in this season, my first ever competitive open class win, extremely rewarding, extremely fulfilling, extremely proud to say that I was able to do that. So I've pivoted, I've compromised and said, you know, I think what will allow me to honestly reach what I see currently as a, a 
height or peak of my bodybuilding career with these adjustments and shifts made, I think I'll be content with an overall. So, what that means is we are 11 weeks out, 83 days out, and I will be competing at the Atlantic Coast Pro-Am November 16th. Here's the thing. I know that I can bring a gnarly physique as these drugs are beginning to disperse out of my system and I slowly come down to more baseline levels, TRT. And I think there's potential for me to bring an even better look than what I brought in August. I really, really, really have that aspiration and I really think that could be a possibility. So, there's a lot going on in life right now. I moved to Florida in six days. I will likely be getting, fulfilling another lifelong dream, uh, getting an American Bully Puppy within the next four to five weeks. And I'm locked in for another show. I'm locked in for the show. Once again, man, I am extremely excited, grateful, and driven in the fact that I get to be an athlete, I get to compete, I get to display what day in and day out consistency can sculpt, what it can build, what it can create, what it can present as. And that's exactly how I'm looking at it, man. Drugs or no drugs, the next 11 weeks, the next 83 days of preparation are gonna be spent being an athlete. I'm locked in. Life's exciting right now. Life is fun right now. This is a new chapter. This has been a scary chapter, a scary adjustment for a long time. And I'm here for the growth, man. I'm here for the journey. 83 days out. Let's rock. <laughs>